Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome to a new Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough. Completely unmodded for a change, guys. Um, one I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, we're going to be doing a playthrough as Nakai the Wanderer, because I've never actually done him. Uh, when he came out, I actually did something else, because uh, everybody was doing him. Obviously, we're going to have... Uh, a fight with a Rakaf right away in this playthrough, which could make things much more interesting. Um, so obviously, Nikai's Horde unlocks units, um, while other Hordes use global recruitment to access them. And we'll see how that works. And Nikai's vassals occupy settlements, uh, the conquered settlements, of more controlled and gives us increasing rewards. And we get Buster Croxies! Lots of Buster Croxies. Ooh. Extra melee defense for Croxies, which is good because they are quite low defense. That actually gonna, will make them fairly decent, especially as an early game unit. And obviously we're starting with some sacred Croxies and some uh, bog standard Croxigors. So really good, decent units to start with. Um, so race tributes, obviously jungle nexus uh, for recruitment. Um... Spawning of the Ancients, restricted settlement to capture. Yeah, um, and a uh, beast suitable for every task. We'll see that. Oh, so just realized we're a beast army starting next to a calf who is the beast lord. Oh dear, that's definitely on purpose. I did not even twig. Uh, so Nakai the Wanderer does not act on a coherent thought. <laughs> but instinct alone, whatever, whether due to some greater message communicated uh, telepathically to him by the slan, or directly from the old ones themselves. Interesting. So we want to play this a little eclectically, guys. Um, let me know what you think my task and my goals should be for this playthrough. Um, uh, because I've not really got any plans for this playthrough. It's I, I've been wanting to do it for a while. Obviously, I don't want to paint the map. I will follow the storyline for him. As much as I can, because I'm in the Old World campaign, I doubt it's got the full storyline. you, mighty protector. Your instincts have brought you to the mysterious, fog-shrouded Isle of Albion. A place of great power and ancient secrets. Here you reside within the realms of the Northmen of Norska. Their chaos-worshipping ways are an affront to the Great Plan and cannot be tolerated. Further south, straddling the river Rake, are the warm bloods of the Empire. Feeble men, who will surely offer up little resistance to your mighty horde. The Bretonians also dwell nearby. They have long sought to vanquish the Chaos Worshippers, a purpose which aligns with the Great Plan. Perhaps they can be of some use to you in this struggle. Tells me to kill the Empire, Fourth then be friends of them. Destruction, Naka. Odd. It is your calling. Purge the world of chaos and restore the glory of the Old One. <laughs> oh, wow. This is an interesting start. So how to play. Uh, yeah. Thing. We'll work this out. Devote yourself to for one of your bonkers striking temples and gaining favor. Which will basically give us buffs. And let's rip the Citadel of Lead apart first. I'm going to let them have a fight first. And uh, we always fight the first battle, guys. So here it goes. Nothing. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, they've got a little bit of anti-large, but let's be honest, I'm not worried about here. My crocs are got worried about it. My crocs are going to have fun, and we are going to absolutely smash. Hmm. 
Here we go. Primal Roar. Oh, it gives him a rampage, but a really good buff. And affects everybody within range. Oh, wow. Guys, there's not going to be a huge amount of subtlety here, guys. Nikai smash. Oh, did he actually just punch them? Absolutely shredding them. There we go. These guys are actually relatively fast compared to most other units, so they should catch these guys relatively quickly, and because they don't have Parthian style shot, that's not an issue. Not you. Oh god, they actually managed to get to those guys. Ah. So the axes are probably the most dangerous thing on their on their sides. So I did actually lose some croxies. Oh wow, I lost quite a few croxies there. Because those axe throwers are quite nasty. But we didn't lose any units, so it's nice XP for all of my guys. And of course, we're now going to eat the humies. Yeah, we are going to eat all of these tasty, tasty Van Heimlings. Van Heimlings. And yeah. Who do we dedicate this to, guys? I do not know which one, so this gives us wind of magic buffs. Oh, Buster Croxies at the moment. Beasts of Itzel. Hmm. Unit is un invulnerable to damage. I'm going to go for Itzel. At least to start with, there we go. And the temple has been built. Horde growth. Sequence of creation, that's quite good. Army capacity plus one. Allows me to have an extra army. And with that, we are also going to build ourselves up a bit while we're sat here. And of course, root marcher first. Nice. Oh, let's do our heavens. So we'll start pushing. Obviously, you can get them to an Ancient Stegodon. Engine of the Gods, long run. That's perfect. I'm not sure if I prefer Ancient Stegodons or Engines of the Gods. Uh, we're going to go for Konkata next. And then, obviously, we're potentially... Oh, I should have done some recruitment as well. Uh, I can... Don't worry, I'm not in any rush. 
Uh, I say that early getting your turns right is actually really key. I think hitting there next is a really solid idea for us. And then obviously we need to deal with a calf, which is going to be fun. Just get some normal boys to start with. They are quite expensive. That is the downside of lizard men. It's a lot of your units are, early, especially your early units, are very expensive. The other downside of fighting Rakaf is he's going to be very good against my big units because he is an anti-large monster. So yeah, he's going to be fun to play with. Ooh, I was going to say easy auto. Actually, it wasn't quite as easy. I'm going to do the same one. Because, yeah, Temple of the Old Ones here. As we buff this up, it's going to give us access to things. So, obviously, we're pushing up Itzel to start with. Blessed. Ooh, nice. And obviously that's the favour we get from doing things. And we get, a, do we get a constant change from holding these settlements? I don't know. Thunderbolt, please. There we go. And I, I love the fact we have a basic permanent vassal ally thing in me. I don't know. I think they're a vassal. Affinity, unsurprisingly, they like me. Yeah, they are my vassal, which means they also give me money. So the bigger they are, the richer I am. However, they are apparently not the best at defending themselves. So I want to be a bit careful with that. I do want some spears because obviously Rikaf is wants to have lots of anti-large units. I may have just overspent, so I may need to be very aggressive now against Rakaf to push him off my island. Albion, home of Nakai. Definitely not, but... Let's have a look at our objective. objective. Short campaign. Ah. Interesting. Probably should have done him in the Vortex campaign, but... Eh. I don't know if he's going to different... I, I like playing in the Mortal Empires. I don't necessarily like following the storylines. Um, obviously, you get to have fun, though, in the big campaign, so... Oh, you get to have fun in this campaign still, but yeah. Where is Rakaf hiding? Hmm. See, those army capacities are good just for the things. Global recruitment capacity is quite good. Basically, all of these allowed me to have more people. That's good. They're all good, to be fair. Yes, I wish to declare war. I was a bit confused then. I thought it was saying they were unhappy with me. Go. 
That's our first bit of fun done. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, buffing Croxies, I think, is going to be one of our key things because we are definitely Croxy friendly. I think I kind of want to save for that. Well, that's nice. I don't need it. Yet. Wind Blast is always nice, so we're going to go poke and play with Norska next. Well, I'm potentially going to find Rakaf and murder him, but we'll see where he's disappeared off to. Because the other thing is, if I lose settlement and regain settlements, that's not actually necessarily the end of the world. They all have fairly decent garrisons straight away. Hmm. Growth to start with, please. Or neither really does it. Wow, you might have things which give me extra army capacity. Um, reducing upkeep seems like a good plan because cheaper units mean more income in general long run. I'm going to go have fun raiding Norska next. Gonna go in here first so we can push right in. I am expecting a Rakaf to just magically reappear somewhere soon, which will be scary if he does, but yeah. Um, again, feel free to comment, guys. I don't know the best meta for this. All oh, the thousand moors have been destroyed, so Rakaf went somewhere and got himself killed. What a shame not. Okay, so we're heading for Trollfjord next. Oops. Tell me to stop playing with my wedding ring in the chat, please. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I'm a fidget and I take my wedding ring off and twirl it in my fingers and drop it, as you just heard. And one of these days, it's gonna... Yeah. Okay, Trollfjord is going to fall next. I love the way that, that it did kind of suggest I wanted to kill the Empire, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to get a great big northern, northern beastmen nation here. I think that income one is going to be really big for me. Oh. Mm. No, I'm going to go for that one for the buffs next. Oh, no. Horde growth. Sorry, I'm umming, umming and ahhing about where I want to go so much here. Yes, I want to declare war on them. Well, this one's going to be fun. Bit of the bigger battle for us with my smallish force, actually. Um, they don't have anything really worrying here, though. Um, my Croxagores are going to make mincemeat of them all. Uh, the Skinks are the only things which are slightly vulnerable here. Oh, 
Yep. <laughs> no need for subtle. Ah, they need to die first, though. into my sound. No, I want you guys on them, please. Keep going. I want those Marauder Hunters dead yesterday, please. Breaking them all along the line. That's right, trap them. They are the date because they're armor piercing and they reduce armor, which makes them a threat. Uh, I'm going to move these guys over here so they can. They can uh, use their javelins in on them. Yeah, may as well leave my skink in. Ah, they can. Mass charge! That, those units are just gonna splinter. <laughs> nice. Right, I'm not worried about them anymore. Oh no, they are still actually a little active. It's annoying. Ooh, I'm potentially going to lose my Saurus Warriors with shields. That's annoying. I actually want, want Nakai over here, please. I may have messed up. Oh, wow. Get your butt down here, please, Nakai. Oh, it removes Rampage. Okay. Lightning bolt into them. Nice, it's starting to turn. This is a little tougher than I thought. I mean, a victory is still a victory, still a victory, but still. Right, I need these guys in here now to break them, because my, these, my Croxies there are getting a little um, overwhelmed, if I'm honest. You guys can just keep chasing them until they're dead. These guys aren't going to last much longer now. This is a victory, but a costly one. Oh 
god, I'm not sure I'm gonna win. Wow, I did not deserve that. I I took that far too lightly, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, I mean, we got a lot of kills, but I took it far, far too lightly. And I always forget that Saurus Warriors are not as good. When the game first came out, Saurus Warriors were vastly tougher than they are now. They have had a lot of... They have been heavily hit with the nerf, with the nerf hammer. Um... Oh, wow, this, yeah, this gives huge buffs as we level up, so I'm going to keep doing it, so. There we go, get the better Saurus Warriors. Because they even have better stats. Uh, and obviously, long run, I want to start getting Croxies and stuff out, too, but. And Dreadsaurians, because Dreadsaurians are... They aren't as good as you think, because they're very, very vulnerable to range, but they're great fun. Ah, Croxy Girls are literally from the next level of Temple, that's fine. Bog standard Croxies, anyway. That'll do us. And that's where we're going to leave this one for today, guys. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Please do like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this, guys. And an extra special thank you to all of my channel members and Patreons who should be linked on the screen now. You really do all help make all of this possible. Other than that, guys, as always, an extra special thank you to... Well, thank you to everybody for watching. And please pop a comment down below. Cheers, guys.